pull it apart a little bit, see? Sure. Yep, you just hook it. Pull, hook and pull up. You're just yeah, breaking. so you, you can go like this. You yeah. Pull it up. Okay, do it again. We need to redo this. There's still some stuff in it. Yeah, you gotta, um, yeah, I would take this little smaller chunk. And then you need like a, here. This is the bat pick. So, um, yeah, this has to go several times. That's what makes carding so. Um, I'm gonna do it again because it was really fun. Yeah. Is this supposed to manually like spin to get this off? Is that okay to override yeah, it? Yeah, you can move it by hand. It's not gonna hurt it. Mm -mm. Usually, um, I take a toilet paper tube or an old what's that? Yeah, I'm gonna use spreading this piece out. We have to do this stuff again. We don't need any more new technically. Well, I'm not using it. It was from this pile. Oh, okay. Using. You have to put it in. Stretch it out. I know I put it like this and then turn it on. Wait. Don't jam it. And then you're trying to get it to go like, see how it's sideways? You want it to go in perpendicular to it. Like this? Yeah, you want it to go so it's like facing in instead of this way. You want it to go this way. So see how that yarn? Those strings, oh, yeah. you want the strings to go in because you're combing it. Here's the on switch. Because you're combing it. And so if you put it on sideways, it's not going to comb What speed it. do we have it at? About half speed. Yeah. So... The motor needs a little work. The belt specifically. It looks like the motor's strong enough, but the belt is slipping some. So I have plans for that. Can you uh, sw turn it off, Mama? And then uh, let's show how easy it is to. Well, I'll show people all the belts and things are right under this magnetic cover. But then take off that little thumb screw over here and then take off the plastic part once you get that screw off then put on the purple handle then you can run it in manual mode I like the handle I forgot how fun this is. There, now you can go. Oh, actually, we should. I mean, you don't have to, but it's probably wise to disconnect one belt that goes to there. Then it'll be easier to turn by hand. Here, up. Can you use your other hand? Does it make the video easier? Huh? Alpaca merino. It's really soft. I thought this is all the fiber. Huh? There's a lot of it. Yep. I'm picking it apart and then feeding it through and making it really nice. So it's a, definitely a labor of love. How long do you want me to go slow down? It's kind of fun. Is it hard to turn the handle? Easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The part of the reason I put the handle on there is because if you get the really, if it's really clogged up with fiber, it's unlikely the motor will be able to handle that. I think it can handle most cases, but probably not all of them. So the handle will always be there as an option, or if you want to have more fine control, I'm not sure if I'm going to offer a lower cost. I mean, it saves money if I just do the handle, but I'm not sure. It is pretty nice. To if have it's it. worth. Mm -hmm. It's oh yeah, the motor. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty. I, mean, I can move the we can move the drum closer if you think. I guess it's that part's working. I don't know. Can you? Oh, actually, you know what you're supposed to do? Use this thing. That's when you're done. No, I think that up. I think that helps. Um, if you put that, it helps push the fiber down and align the fiber. No, while it's spinning, but that's supposed to help align the fiber some. I thought it was just supposed to get it off. Okay. It just reduces the passes you have to do. Oh. oh it does. Yeah, you can put that back here. But yeah, you don't have to press really hard or really soft. I, I don't know exactly, but other people told me that's what they do. Come on, Ada. Get cranking. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But that's, ooh, that's nice. I like that. Because look at how many, uh, it's how smooth it is now. But it's nicer if I don't have to crank. Okay, let's go back to the motorized version a little bit. This is one of the first tests we've done. And one thing we noticed is that the belt going from the motor to the main drum is uh, slipping a little bit. So we're going to work on a few different ways. I have a couple of different ideas on how to better fix that. But other than that, all the belts seem to be working well. The hand crank, as you saw earlier, was really easy to change and uh, you can take it off when you're running with a motor or leave it on like it is right now. Um, I'll show you it at full speed. I don't think it has to go this speed, this fast. Um, it's not super fast, but that's faster than you'll ever really need it. So I may change the gearing on the motor a little so it doesn't go that fast. Um, and I'll just sort of show you a few other features. So this front piece just slides in there for storage. I think you've already seen this magnetic side cover, but that just sort of covers the belts so that things don't get in there. Uh, fiber doesn't get in there when you're using it. And I also put a lot of work into this little bottom drawer, which is designed to catch all of the debris so it doesn't get uh, onto your table or escape. So you can just pull it out like that, empty your debris, and put that back in. It's held in place with magnets. Uh, the back here has a little nylon brush that helps. I'm still thinking about whether to include this burmishing brush. And we've got uh, a bat pick there. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with this uh, prototype. Let's take off the fiber, Emily. Just show one more time how that works. Oh yeah, we need a tube. I've seen you do that idea. before. But yeah. That's when you clean it out at the end. Look at how lined up that is. Mm. So pretty. So soft. Mm. Thanks for your help. And thanks for watching.